Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Alpha Central, I'm your host Jack, and today we're taking a look at modern women getting shocked by men's honesty. But it's an hour-long special, so let's jump right in, right after you subscribe, of course. Disclaimer, this video was made for strictly comedic slash artistic purposes. No offense is intended towards any individual featured in this video. Just like a man. You just seem very misogynistic, yeah, realistically. Yeah, yeah. What is misogyny? <laughs> Why are you using words that you don't even know the definition no, of? No, no, that's not what I meant. I think you, I think you are misogynistic. What does misogynistic mean, though? Um, like, just so I know what you're calling me. Okay, so the reason I said it is just, again, based on the... 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 From the start, I could already tell this girl was clueless about what she was talking about. Women can say, I don't want no scrubs. If he can't buy you a Birkin bag, kick him to the curb. But if I just happen to say that you weigh more than men at your height, that's offensive. It's offensive for men who like a certain type of woman. Some men are into BBWs. Really? Right? Show me where the high yeah. value men go after BBWs as the norm. That's a good point. Once again, double standards are at work. Women have the right to say they want tall men, but men can't say they don't want a BBW. You just tried to say right now, you out here feminine on the as if it was a negative thing, but you just sit here proudly said that you're a Okay, so what does that mean? No, what because, the no, because listen. Like, I, does that make listen, sense to you? Listen, I retwisted it. <laughs> he being him unconditionally. I don't judge you don't, I don't judge I don't judge nobody for getting So you ain't just judges right now by sitting there trying to call us that, like, we, you just say it right now, oh, I said all we women are you said that I get in a negative context. I said it like this. I said you can't. I said it to rebuttal you. Like you can't come at me if you're doing the same thing. That's what I mean today. You don't know what you talk about. I came at it as like you can't come at me if you're doing the same thing. <laughs> you don't know don't what you like. Yo. Listen, listen. I was the wrong. Listen, yo, listen to me. I was the wrong. Listen, I was, I was, I was the. Nine to five. Support it all. Get a degree or say a here. Hey, just let her live in the streets, and one day she will realize where she went wrong. Natural bodies are BBL bodies. Natural. 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 Natural body all the way. Do you think guys prefer natural bodies or BBLs? BBLs. BBLs. BBL. 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 BBL bodies for sure. But if they See, every single one of them said natural. There's no need to alter your body for love. Be yourself. Excuse me. Hi. I was wondering if you're looking for someone with seven inches who can please you day and night, emotionally and physically. No. No? Oh, thank God. Let me introduce myself. I'm Vaughn. She went from freaked out to falling in love with him. Now that was a great pickup line. The reason that men out here f***ing themselves, they tear us down when we don't communicate and express our thoughts and feelings and sentiments or our vulnerabilities. And then as soon as we talk and express our thoughts and vulnerabilities, we get our ass beat and get torn down for that too. Tyrese is speaking for a lot of men here. There should definitely be more awareness about this topic. Listen, it don't matter. I'm still getting DMs. But it's gonna be even worse if you're posting the bikini pictures. Or if you're posting the My man should trust me traps. at the end of the day. My man should trust me. You know, there's certain parts of your body that only No, your yes, man, that is true. Like, there, it should it. be a curiosity. Like, you should question mark what is under my girl's clothes. Not be That's able to go on her to Instagram page yes. and be able to see it all. I'm a bad if she's already getting DMs from dudes trying to hit on her, the right thing to do is just stop entertaining them. If I were to tell you to text one of your male friends and say, hey, I'm now, what do you think would happen? Honestly, let's do it. He's gonna be like, what are you texting me that for? Oh, he's calling me. Hello? Can I be honest with you? I just really want to What are you doing? What are you Point proven, dude was not a true friend, he just wanted to get in her pants. Men have about 17 times as much testosterone as women. When men lose their testosterone as they get older, they get the man Think of the fat guy drinking beer at the bar who's just got the huge gut, right? Yeah. What's happened with that guy is his estrol levels have increased, his testosterone is now being aromatized into estrogen, and he's just he has more estrogen than a pregnant woman at this point. That man's libido goes down. Got it? You with me? Now, when women take anabolic steroids, meaning their testosterone levels go up, their drive goes up. Think about the fuckest you've ever been in your entire life. Multiply that by 17. That's a man on a Tuesday. That's what it's like for us every day. I was teaching my clients yesterday. And I was like, if one of you guys to save your life had to 17 women right now to save your life, you would do it, leave, and afterwards wouldn't think about it the next day. If a woman had to 
17 dudes to save her life, it would be traumatic Tra for the rest of her. It would be incredibly traumatic yeah. because our psychology <laughs> is different. So you That's what I've been talking about my entire life. Men's drive is through the roof every single day compared to women's. Age? No. What do you think about Jennifer Lopez? She's a f I mean, what the f She's being ran through by half of Hollywood. She got f tapes out. What do you think about Kim Kardashian? Yeah, she's a billionaire! How many men has she been married to and failed? Four. Oh, so she can't keep them in. Do you think they give a f about her billionaire bull? No, the no, thing is, the they thing care is about what? Faithfulness oh, and big Not looking like a right? Yeah. She got famous off a of Sucking on a good old BBC. It was not BB. I didn't see it, but he's black, so I assume. The point black. is, what do we see in her dating history? One baby daddy, what, but four marriages? She can't keep them. Is that a high quality woman, you think? I honestly think that- Nope. Kim should not be a role model to look up to at all, and this video shows why. Is Cardi B a trophy in your Yes or no? No, not at all. If you tried to get her, you couldn't have her. If you tried to get her, you couldn't her. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, listen from our, our point of view. It's just glorifying degenerate behavior. Now, does that mean she doesn't have a certain level of skill that she had to get to this point? No, it doesn't mean that. But a trophy is something that everyone can look at and say that's of value, right? But when you're doing certain things that are promoting degeneracy in culture, normalizing this behavior, if yeah, if that's what you got to do to get money, I, I get that. Then what is the industry? Mostly all degenerate anyway. Exactly, that's what they do. No, no they, right, right. So she's part, she's part of the degeneracy. So none of them are trophies. It's not personal to her, but she's not a trophy. Yeah, you can't sit here and tell guys what you think a trophy should be, okay? We, it's not we, about me telling you, this is my opinion. The fact young girls praise Cardi B is very concerning for the future of this generation. Would you feel comfortable if your father was watching your own and subscribing to it? Probably not, no. You would not feel comfortable, and I'll tell you why. That's because in your heart of hearts, in your soul, if you still got one, you know it's wrong. And I'll give you an example. That's your work. In my work, if my mother consumed my work, I'd be thankful and pleased that she took an interest in my work and supported my work. If she bought my products, I'd be thankful. If your mother or father bought your products, you'd be disgusted and ashamed because you know what you're doing is wrong and the product of what you're doing is bad. If she isn't comfortable with Pop seeing her content, why is she posting it in the first place? Like the guy's second. The job, the career, the success is first. I've noticed that that generation that has taught their daughters to be that, this is the first generation that's dealing with all this because every time I look up, every person that taught their daughter to be a strong woman is married. Yet every one of those kids that they told to be strong isn't. So it's just been an outcome that, yeah, they're trying to protect you, but they also shield you from that guy. The standards that we've set for what women are even looking for in a man to get the opportunity to take care of you. Shit ain't even a win for him. It's not even a win. He's literally walking into a situation where I got to caretake, I got to protect, I got to provide, I got to do all this stuff. Career-wise, I'm trying to set myself up to be on that path. Yeah, but literally, that's what I'm saying. Same. Career has nothing to do with the fam. It really does seem like men are held to very high standards, and this guy has the answer to why that's happening. A lot of women have lost their damn mind. Simone Biles' husband is the prize. Let me explain. Simone Biles' husband played for the Green Bay Packers. He is in the top 2% of men in the entire world. Simone Biles went fishing for her husband because she knew he was the prize, and she didn't want to settle for Pookie. And for all the women that's telling Simone Biles to divorce her husband, she will not divorce him because she don't want to be miserable and lonely like you. A lot of you women that's talking could never pull an NFL player. A lot of you women wake up to Pookie and Ray Ray that's good for nothing but slinging raw D. A lot of you women that's talking have kid husbands. Why do people always want to ruin other people's relationships? This will always confuse me. Would you recommend people to go through 100% yes, absolutely. What would you say? Absolutely not. Why do you say people should go through this? You said no. No. I think that if you don't know what car you like to drive, how are you going to go to a dealership and purchase one for for a few years, you know? I think you need to test drive. I think you need to, yeah, go out, go out of your way. I personally haven't, but... Stop the cap. Um, I just think, like, I, rec I recommend it for other people. You know, Why do you I say no? A, I know I want a Lamborghini, so I'm going to wait for the Lamborghini. I'm not going to go with the Honda Civic and then Toyota and work my way up. I'm waiting for the Lambo. Once I get the Lambo, I'm good. Wow, just notice the difference in their views on relationships. This is what separates a good partner versus a bad one. Not married, different last name, multiple baby daddies, but making a man a meal? Oh, 
That's where they draw the line. Red flag. <laughs> Boys, you gotta be careful. When they make you a meal, then they have full power. Here's another huge female privilege that no one talks about. Ladies, I'm sure you had a good cry recently. Life overwhelmed you for a minute and you had some emotion that you just needed to release. When it was over, you felt great. You took a deep breath and moved on. Well, men have their own version of this. You see, men don't need a good cry. They need a good angry blow up. Women have wondered for the longest time why men bottle up their emotions or let anger get the best of them. But this is actually no different from women crying. You express your bottled up emotions with tears. We express ours by yelling the world for a minute or two. Last I checked, both anger and sadness are very normal human emotions. But for some reason, this very normal and natural expression of anger by men has been labeled as toxic, while your crying has been labeled as healthy expression of emotion. Any man will tell you that getting pissed and blowing off some steam is euphorically beneficial for their mental health. But they fear doing this in front of you, ladies, because they know you won't understand. And it's the disallowing of men to blow off this minor anger that leads to truly dangerous angry men. Anger is a normal emotion, and men tend to have more of it. People gotta let off some steam once in a while. They don't want the Russells until after they got ran through from the Futures, and the Futures ain't giving them the results that they wanted. They want the Futures to be the Russells. Mm -hmm. And then once the Futures don't turn into the Russells, they run to Russell with future kids. And it's like, what self-respecting man would accept that? So what we try to tell women is, you having a child is not only gonna affect you, that's probably gonna be one of the most important decisions you make is who you have your kid with. It does. So start it's a being. Hard truth. Wait, I hold on, hold on. Start being more meticulous and concise with who you have a kid with because women just think I can have a kid with anybody. Okay, cool. You're getting attention. You're getting. D but how many of them are really trying to marry you or wife you or make your wife and keep you? I'm keeping you around for the fun. So in a woman's mind, well, I'm getting attention from men, even the men I want. Yeah, but is he Thank keeping you? you? You should always choose carefully who you want to be with, especially if you're going to be carrying their baby. What is your take on modern dating? It's hell. As standards are set mm -hmm. as a woman, guys you can get away with anything now. If you have standards as a woman and you uphold those standards, they will move on to the next girl. Standards for women have lowered. Even if your standards are high as a woman, you, it's like, you're gonna have to like really, really filter through these men to find guys who want a girl that has high standards. You don't think that there's a double standard to that? It sounds like you're saying that guys just think that there's an unlimited amount of options out there. One in three guys hasn't had in a year, involuntarily. Where are those guys? Probably right here. Bring them to me. Real quick question. When was the last time you had Oh. Uh, Far too long ago. I mean, I don't even want to say I'm embarrassed. I'm not when was the last time you had Nine days ago. <laughs> Dang, it took him just one interview to prove her point wrong. Excuse me, miss. I just want, I just want to say I think you're very beautiful. No English? No. Tu eres muy, muy hermosa. Gracias. Nombre. Me llamo McQueen. Your name is McQueen? Mm -hmm. Nice sí. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Sabias que uno de cada tres hombres in the Estados Unidos, mm -hmm. sufre de falta de <laughs> What did you give for me? <laughs> Just try to in English, no problem. Try talking in English? Yeah. Do you okay. want to stop <laughs> this problem in America mm -hmm. of men not oh, I'm so sorry. You don't want to help? <laughs> How about this? You can make your efforts to help me, right? I you, um... Help me by putting your number in my phone. Okay. Seems like someone's got a big crush on him, even if she didn't speak the same language. I feel really bad for modern women in the dating world. You've been damaged by men from your past, and now you're so damaged that you can't recognize a good man when he's right there in front of you. Here's the issue. You've dated weak men with no backbone who bore you to death, weak men with no emotional control who just snap at you violently and disrespect you, or boys who don't give and just ignore you instead of arguing, and then come back when you start chasing again. Then you have the truly good men, the ones that never snap at you and actually want to talk things out. Men with a backbone who don't punish you for bad behavior, but actually try to guide you away from it constructively and patiently. But what calculation happens in your head? He's confronting me? This is like that violent ex. But wait, he's being calm and patient? This is like that nice guy, so I'll just argue back. Wait, why is he saying we'll talk about this later after I calm down? Is he just going to ignore me like that toxic f 
You see how this guy falls victim to your prior experiences and never gets his own fair image? Start recognizing the good men you come across and listen to them. They're emotionally intelligent, not emotional, and they're everything you've ever wanted, so start rewarding them. It's all about perspective. Women must educate themselves and learn how to recognize true values in a man. Do you know why those lashes were invented? Those long lashes? The because I wasn't born with long lashes. No, do you know who created those really long ones? Those umbrella looking lashes? It was created by a who had a bunch of girls working for her and they kept getting in their eyes. And so they made these umbrellas to block all the from infecting You're them. Lying. That's the definition of those lashes. I really yeah. love all of this insight I'm getting from you too. Like I'm learning so much. I mean, actually. so you say it's not for male attention. It was literally to but block it's male it's attention. It's <laughs> This is hilarious, but I do think there should be some research done on this topic. You guys have guy friends? I do. You do? Do any of your guy friends want to No. Call one of your guy friends right now. Hello? Malik, <laughs> I got a question. So, me and Wes just broke up, and I was just wondering, like, do you want to do anything? Like what, fam? Like <laughs> You talking about me? <laughs> I'm asking you to, I'm asking. My man literally said he was gonna come over and beat it up. Call him up and see what he says. I guarantee the guy friend is more than you'd expect. How many celebrities that you know that's rich, famous, got more money than you gonna ever get in your life, is more beautiful than you ever gonna be in your life, and they're miserable. They don't have a man, they can't keep a man. They're miserable. Look at uh, Taraji P. Henderson. She like 50 right now, famous and rich. Why are you unhappy? You know why? She has no and because you were made to pair with a man. I don't care how much money you got. I don't care how much degrees you got. When you're old and lonely, sitting in that mansion and there's nobody there for you to love, take care of, and you sitting on Instagram seeing all these couples and other couples on vacation and posting all these and the guy gonna see oh, yeah. this guy. That's what you really want. Okay. All his money don't mean if he's not there to share it with. Okay, so my the money means you. nothing. The okay. degree means nothing. Okay. You need the man. I'm telling my daughter the most important thing she can get in life is a good man. More important than your degree, more you important than your me. career, more important than any of that. Even after saying all these things, a woman will still choose money over love. What's your ideal age in a dude? Um, I would say probably um like 18 and just 18. And what race do you prefer them to be? Um, uh, any, all of them. Is no, that, is that the true answer? No, it is. Okay. I like, right. that's that's no, that's fine. The more, the, you make the, the more, rules. The more people, the more probability I have. I like that. I like that. Okay, and your ideal height? Um, six one. Six one, no shorter than that. No short, no taller, just six one. And minimum income that he makes in a year? Three hundred grand. Okay, yeah, no, for sure, yeah, totally. For the probability of you finding true love is um zero percent. And that's you, you, <laughs> At first, it seemed like she had a good chance of finding love with her standards, but then she got a bit too greedy with it. When a man is building, certain things are more important to him than when a man is built. When a man's built, peace and pleasure, that's really like peace is big. When I'm building, I need a partner. If you're going from a situation where like a bottom chick is literally for the bottom, I'm off the bottom. We're here struggling together mm -hmm. to get up. But once we get up to the point of being built, you got to grow with your partner. If you're not growing and you still on some bottom shit, we headed to the top, then there's gonna be a disconnect there. I always gotta stay in, like, don't hate on nobody, don't wait on nobody, baby girl. Listen, we going up. This elevator's going up. Are you getting on it? Because if not, there's gonna be some separation, some distance. When I was building, yes, I wanted a, a partner. I wanted somebody to put in on these bills yes. and stuff. I'm built now. I, I need peace and quiet. And you can't treat me like you treated me. For when sure. When nobody. You, yeah. And when I, we're not putting up with it. That's why Starter Wives exists. Because when he's building, that's the girl with you. But as soon as he gets built and the world celebrates him, you're the girl saying don't forget when you ain't hash you gotta go baby girl oh you and all your to go because you try to remind, remind me who me. i used to be and i've been working my to not be that person no more you gotta build up in life with your partner and i fully agree with that men who cheat and men who don't cheat they report the same satisfaction in the mirror when women cheat 80 percent of the time they reported lower satisfaction in the mirror and when men cheat it is not to end the relationship when Zero. women cheat it is to end the relationship it's a monkey branch to the next man it's hard for women to understand i can love my wife and kids and have Else and it doesn't mean anything about my wife. These are the fine differences between men and women that you should understand. You've got to be over six foot two. You've got to make uh, $250,000 a year. You got to drive a really nice car. You got to, 
you know, they've got this mumble, nice, funny, sweet, alpha, beta, da, 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 da. It's like, it keeps going and going and going and going sort of thing. And it's like, and what do most women bring to the table? Usually like a body count of 50 and they're selling purity and they want to be a wife. Women can ask for all the things in the world, but what do they provide in return? Should men pay child support? Child support is a necessity when it okay. comes to it. That just, that just goes to show that, you know, men are taking care of their responsibilities, nice. even though they're not with their baby mama. What's one bad thing about the child support? The bitterness that comes out of it. It's crazy because a lot of people really, like, when they can't control you, they're like, oh, I'm going to use your baby for, like, you know, a token. You feel I what I'm see. saying? I've seen my friends and stuff go gotcha. through that. I feel like in all these discussions, we forget about the kid itself and that it deserves an amazing life, no matter how the parents behave. Uh, Barbie girls or black girls? Barbecue. This is a perfect answer. Green flags all the way. Someone wipe this woman up. This continues my conspiracy that the media portrays beauty onto skinny women. But big women are where it's at. You know, big women have great personalities, they have great taste in music, they know how to cook, they have great credit scores, and they can suck a golf ball through a garden hose. What can a skinny woman do for you? Not a goddamn thing. Now, there's a difference between a big woman and a woman who can eat. A woman who can eat will just burn through your entire bank account. But a big woman will take care of you. Big women are where it's at. Everyone has their preferences, and what matters the most is if your partner can or cannot take care of you. Ladies. If a man's wearing a cop uniform, you'd assume he's a cop. If he was wearing a white jacket and a stethoscope, you'd assume he's a doctor. But if you're wearing a see-through shirt with no bra and booty shorts, we're not supposed to assume you're out here selling cool Nothing but facts in this guy's statement here. Besides prettiness, what else can you offer? I'm gonna offer everything like you. Men don't care about your broken promises of saying, I'm gonna give you everything. Okay, you gonna give me everything? All right, give me and then you out. That I'm my own person. I get my own money. I'm going to do everything. I do everything for myself. How does that benefit a relationship? Because I'm going to put into the relationship. Hello, you don't got to do everything by yourself. Who are you dating? It'd be pro guys saying that. So why are you on a date with a pro guy? Damn, I'm dumb. <laughs> Good looks aren't everything, especially when it comes to someone you want to date. Gotta make sure they're good looking inside as well. Hey, let me make something very clear here. A woman is a spitting mirror image of her man's masculinity. The way a woman speaks about her man when he's not present says a lot about the man. I don't have to say a word to him, know who he is. Just off of the way that you speak about him, I can tell you don't respect him. Done. So he's up something significantly. Yes, he is very correct. The way she speaks on her man when he's not around determines her true love for him. I think there's also a lot of men out there that really appreciate women who are like smart and intelligent and like, you know, for sure. well put together. They appreciate the fact that you're smart and intelligent, but it's different from market value. Those are two Do you pass different the things. And that's, it's so hard because women will go get that second master's degree, do a TED talk and be like, Lord, where's my man? Yes. You're doing things that increase your personal, Bring it to the your, table. Your, 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 your internal self-worth. Love it sense? like it's your favorite but, lollipop. Yeah, so uh, I have a ton of female friends and a lot of them do some wild crazy love hearing these stories, but I would never date them. Just because she's smart doesn't mean she's pretty. Finding someone with both characteristics is a true gem. When you give someone something for free the first time, it creates appreciation. When you give someone something for free the second time, it creates anticipation. When you give someone something for free the third time, it creates expectation. Fourth time, it creates entitlement. The fifth time, it creates dependency. And you don't give it to them by the sixth time, it creates hatred yeah. and oh resentment. And internally, they feel depressed and have anxiety so let me tell you ladies something guess where all women are because women get attention for free from men so women are in the entitlement field that's why all women think that they're eight nines and tens because they have this self-entitlement because in your dms giving you a bunch of attention don't miss right on target today's girls don't understand that there's no such thing as a free lunch everything has to be earned women cheat more than men cheat. Absolutely. Oh, they do. Oh, they do. Do you know how many? Do you know how many married women? Uh, I agree one hundred. You know how many married women are sucking another nigga now? Yeah. Dog face. And ain't, ain't, ain't about he ain't. Oh, he got this. I know. I know situations where. Niggas, listen. You you have a you have you listen. You have a lot of women who are being taken care of by a man. Yeah. It is true. Mm -hmm. So the, let me the, hear. I'm going to tell you this. <laughs> Let me see. Rich cheated on first. You know why? Because they're yeah. so busy trying to maintain 
their money. Yeah. So they they neglecting the woman in some way that she doesn't want to be neglected in. Mm-hmm. The time, everything is you, it's just true saying you want to risk or you want to with, with time. The next time ain't got no money. Right. Time is literally money. That is something that people need to realize sooner than later. Looking into the camera, bro. Girls are distractions. Straight up. Unless you're in a, I think a relationship is a distraction unless you're ready for that. You feel me? I know how much dedication and commitment that takes, so I wouldn't even go that route down that route yet. You feel me? But like that, like bro, that distract, like distracting, like that, like that, that. A girl can hit you up, talking about they want to do this with you tonight, and your dad. Considering, like, should I be streaming or should I do this? Like, get to the streaming. Like, what Damn, are you doing? It's kind of true. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. That's always going to be there. So, like, the grind is really what's going to be hard, though. Sometimes relationships can be draining, and like Kai said, a distraction to your full potential. A man will sacrifice his life for his family, whereas she will sacrifice her family for her feelings. Red flag. Putting your own feelings over loved ones is unfair in so many ways. When women have a, bo- a new boyfriend and they don't show the boyfriend immediately, they'll show like hands together, or they'll show like their feet on the beach or like that. Because women know that they will lose market share on their advertising if they show a guy and suddenly that, avail- that, that promise, that fantasy of availability goes away. The reason why women get upset about that is because they're still advertising from within a relationship where the guy has stopped but the woman has not stuck out. Absolute red flag. Couples should be happy to show each other off, not embarrassed about what others think. Be more open about their wants and needs. Okay. I, would I want to f- this. You, on the other hand, will be closed on your side. I'm going to go ahead and be open on my side. I'm going to come to you when I feel like it, and I expect you to still be loyal to me, make me food, be a good, dutiful girlfriend, and not show your on the internet. Amazing. That might work for someone. I wouldn't take your <laughs> offer. Oh, that's why men can't be honest. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Like, yo, can't make this right? <laughs> Communicate! Okay, that's exactly what most guys want right there. And then I told you, oh, well, I don't know if I can take that. If they don't want the truth, then they should. Way women. Than they do. When he brings up the scientific evidence, there's no way to prove his point wrong. Has there ever been a guy you wanted that you weren't able to get? No. So why do women complain about men when women are the ones choosing? Men, men they'll date you, correct? But then when you're not getting comfortable, that's when they show that they're not. But the first, men shouldn't be shitting the first one because why are you putting on a whole persona just to be not in the first place? Like, you can't do all that. If women are smarter than men, why Which do they, they keep, are. If women are smarter than men, why do they keep believing men's lies and opening up their legs? Because it's called manipulation. It's not opening up their legs. If I'm hearing something from man and I'm like, okay, why, first of all, why would you lie to me in the first place? If you're a liar, why are you doing it? It doesn't fall onto the woman, it falls onto the man because what are you lying for? Seems like this girl had some bad experiences and can't handle the truth. She got way too defensive. Women's long jump gets so much coverage and so many views because of the cheeks. Let's be honest, because the cheeks popping out, people like to see that. So if the WNBA kind of did the same thing, I feel like they would lose all integrity, but they would also probably get more views. I think it's good to uphold the integrity, but they should also expect that they won't get as much viewership and as much coverage because people just like to watch the NBA more because they just have more raw physical talent. It is what it is, man. I mean, bro does have a point here. I'd be interested to see how much more popular the WNBA would be if girls dress differently. Not that you have a big butt, it's that it's natural. And it's that we don't respect women who take the easy way out. Like, if you go pay for an that's totally different than if you were born with it. Even though that be identical. And people say, what's the difference? Because some BBLs, you can't tell the difference if you look at it. That may be true, but the difference is up here. The difference is the mindset. Because women only stuck on the shape. Oh my God, look the same. You can't tell the difference. Yeah, but your mind is depleted to me. It's up. That shows lack of self-confidence. That shows self-hate. That shows laziness. You're too lazy to go get in the gym. But a lot of women saying, I want it now. I don't want to put in the work. Or my ass can't get that big in the gym. Cool, your ass need to be that big. God don't make mistakes, right? So you didn't need that much. Majority of- when you start adding fake adjustments to your body, then they can show in your personality. And that's something that most men don't want. 63% of you are from single mother homes. 90% of homelessness and runaway children are from single mother homes. You can't homes. put that on the 5% of no. children who show behavioral disorders are from single mother homes. 80% of 
Kids with anger problems are from single mother homes. 71% of high, high school dropouts are from single mother homes. 80% of all the youths that are in prison are from single mother homes. And they say they don't need a man in the household. Take a look at the facts, ladies. Let's say you're the judge and she's been arrested on felony charges. Now you have to sentence her. When we were talking about the woman, you said that you would show grace and send her to someone like you. When we talked about the man, then you brought up jail time. You know, as a woman, a man is stronger in my mind a man would be able to don't look at me like that oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> but whether i put the woman in jail or the man in jail or sent the woman to a home because because as women i love i wouldn't want any woman to be in jail for what any the man i wouldn't want the man in jail either but i'm just saying the man is strong you guys are strong you guys oh are... my god are y'all hearing <laughs> So she's saying she'll send a woman home and a man to jail just because men are stronger? Will you take your husband's last name? Um, I'm not sure. What? You hey, want him to feel like hey. the hero in your life and you won't even take, you're not proud to take your man's last name? I haven't met a man who is worthy of but me taking I his did, name. But if I did, he would be your husband. This would I be mean, your, the guy who you will marry. I don't know. It depends what his last name is. If it's like really weird. holy <laughs> smokes, why would a high value man want to woman marry a woman who won't even take his last name? I mean, it's up to her if she wants to keep her last name, but at least she should have a good reason for that decision. So, confession. So one time, my best friend and I, okay. we were talking to a guy and his roommate, and we were really bored. And while they were sleeping, we tied them both up, laid them on their stomach, and we both ate their. Ass. That's not a. It wasn't because they both enjoyed it. What if the roast was reversed then? That would be up, I guess. All right. You know that would be Drop the mic on us. <laughs> you know, you yeah, this sounds uh, illegal. Yeah. Until black women go natural and love it! Black girls will always feel psychologically inferior. Yeah. See, long hair is a European beauty trick. In African culture, long hair was never considered an aspect of beauty, not to the extent it is with Caucasian women. Right, right. So you have bought into white women's concepts of beauty, not African. Right. Big time! Oh Over some old nasty weave. <laughs> and black man, you gotta level your woman's head for that hair to grow back. You got the massage, her scalp. Yeah. You if she isn't comfortable in her own body, why would she be comfortable in general? Again, stay true to yourself, ladies. I don't want beauty. I don't. I don't want beauty to raise my kids. I want respect to raise my kids. But you, you respect yourself, right? Yeah, okay. You respect yourself, right? You respect yourself. So okay. And y'all are virgins. Okay. So. Real quick, what's your body count? I'm not going to tell it. Oh, you're not going to tell it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because it's not on, none of your business. Okay, cool. Well, yeah. if you were proud of your body count, you wouldn't mind telling it. Because you, I'm very because... proud. I'm very proud. That's why I'm not discussing this. Topic. Wait, you're very proud of your body count? Yes. Well, if you were proud of your body count, then you wouldn't mind saying it. No, don't get it twisted. It's not that. It actually is a personal thing. Just yes. because nowadays... No, no, no. Make hey, it what's your body count? Zero. Oh, yeah. it was so easy for her to say her body count because she's proud of her body count. If she isn't going to share her body count, how can a man trust her in other areas of life? So she out here on TikTok coming for guys that's below six inches. Something they can't control, man. Guys can't control that. I mean, they're surgery, but who wants to do that? That could go wrong and your pee pee will probably not work no more. That's the thing I realize with a lot of girls, especially girls on TikTok. They be coming for things that guys can't change. You know what I'm saying? Like size, height. We can't change this We was born this way! <laughs> we was born this way, man! As soon as a guy says, Oh man, I don't, I don't like fat girls. Oh my god! You hate women? You don't like fat women? Oh my god, you're a misogynist! Wow! Bitch, shut up! Being fat, you can change that by eating better and going in the gym, so there's no excuse! But my height? I can't change that! So what gives you the right to attack me about something I can't change? But you'll get mad when I say, you fat! Bro had enough. It's so obvious that you can't go against nature, but still, here we are with these double standards. How many guys you slept with? Four. Mm. And how old are you again? I'm 22. Would you consider yourself a, or a good girl? I'm not a good girl. What made you sleep with four? I mean, just... <laughs> four is not a lot. However, she's not giving an answer at all. 
You put on a dress and look cute. Stop to pick up coffee. You're quiet. You shut up for eight to 10 hours while doing your job. But you can't do the same at home for a lousy three hours. Nah, you come home, you put on your sweatpants, you take off the heels, you get all, you wipe all of the makeup off your face. Then you want to act masculine, talk bad about supposedly the patriarchy is keeping you down and be insufferable. Oh Lord, red flag. I mean, what he's saying has a lot of truth to it. So explain why is being a mummy's boy actually a good thing or like why are they attacking the relationship between a man and his mother? Because your mom is an insulation and her first line of defense when you deal with problematic women, if she's a good mom. You know, you bring in a chick that's a leech, right? She's not really adding too much value, etc. Your mom will meet that woman be like, mm, no, I'm good. Especially if her son is a higher earner, he has a lot to lose, etc. Your mom is going to kind of come in and like be a vulture on that chick. This is why so many women hate mommy's boys because the mom, a lot of the times, is going to defend the son from women because women understand women better than anybody else and that's why I say women don't get along with each other because they understand each other. There's nothing wrong with loving your mother and when you get down to the facts, it makes a lot of sense. Tell men communicate with each other. Hey man, you want to go out to the restaurant? Yeah, what time? 7.30? Okay, I'll see you there. That's how men communicate with each other. Here's how women communicate with each other. Hey, what are you doing tonight? I don't know, my hair is all up. Well, what do you want to do later? I'm not sure. The conversation goes everywhere. This type of conversation is very natural and normal for them. When I say men and women, a better description would honestly be masculine energy and feminine energy. Because there's a lot of women who can have masculine energy and a lot of men who can have feminine energy. Feminine energy is very flowy. Masculine energy is very directed. When you go and you're talking to girls and you want a vibe or chemistry with the girl, when a girl's like, we have a vibe or we, we have chemistry, what she's really saying is when I talk with him, it feels like this and it feels natural and normal. And so being able to do both of these things, I think is really important for a guy. My man is giving a psychology lesson on how you can more easily communicate with women in their own style. Women go through all the lovers, all the good looking guys, all the bad boys, all of that through their 20s. And all the providers are actually busy with their head down in programming or getting a job. And then suddenly in their 30s, these guys, when they've reached a, a good level of income and housing, those same girls in the 20s who wouldn't give them the time of day are knocking on their door. Back in the day, there were a lot of men who would for that. And they were like, okay, fine, I'll take you, even though they know she's been ran through. <laughs> It's crazy how they always come back when you have money, but when you don't have anything, they don't want anything to do with you. That's not true. We don't tell you when you 34. Hell yeah, and I do it again. You see that? You're not solid. You see that? Baby. You never cheated. How many boyfriends you had? Period. You're not solid. How you love that many? No. No, no, you love that many. Let me tell you why. How many do you love them to? At least three, four. At least, yeah. Why are you loving that man? As soon as he speaks the truth, they are absolutely shocked. Can't handle being held accountable. The premise of the question is, who loves more unconditionally? Now, I agree with you, actually, that you're making the argument that to enter into men don't have much of a barrier. And what men tend to be a little bit more selective with is giving out a relationship. I agree with that. Even though men are more selective with giving out a relationship, I think when you attempt to look at what women require to consider a man for a relationship, I think there's a pretty big barrier there. What we're going to do is we're going to look at how many men in society that makes up. The age range, you said he has to be in college with you, right? Yes. Okay. 21 Which, to 26. 20, and do you have a race preference? No. And then six foot, yep. And he can't be obese. And then income was 60. Before we show this, what percentage of society do you think this man makes up? We like five percent maybe all right let's take a look the results are he makes up 0.71 percent of society once she saw the odds she was shocked proving him to be right indeed that men are measured on what they create their income they have and their status women are measured on their beauty how you guys live here in miami how many dumb do you know that get invited to celebrity parties and are dating guys that are way above them socioeconomically status wise there's a bunch you could be a girl, 21 years old, no accomplishments, get invited to a party with Future and Gunna and everything. He was there, whereas as a man, you have to become a somebody to get invited to these parties. Men and women are not the same, and a woman's value is not based on how much money she earns and her success. If she does, it's fantastic. Good for her. But it does not make her to men, especially a man that makes a lot of money. To further prove his point, just look around. All these female models getting famous for their bodies, and men are just seeing for their accolades. Excuse me. How you doing? My name's McQueen. Tiffany? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Tiffany. I'm sorry. You know what I'm, saying? I'm just recording a documentary right now. I just want to let you know. Oh, what was your name again? Tiffany. I don't give a f You want to know why? Because I'm just trying to f 
you. I don't want nothing to do with you. I have no interest in finding out where you live, what kind of siblings you got, what race you are. No, none of that. I don't give a. I don't give a. You like these lashes or not? I'm just here to let you know that I think you're beautiful and I am trying to get much. I'm trying to dig in them goddamn guts, girl. You know what I'm saying? So how do you feel about that? <laughs> I'm flattered, but uh You're flattered? I'm flattered that you think I'm beautiful. Okay. But, uh, you're not just... flattered that I want to dig all up in your guts? No. Why? Because that's not as But don't girls always be saying that and we want to be honest with their intentions from the get-go? Yeah, but Okay then. Maybe I didn't make myself clear enough, okay? I don't give a about your brothers, your sisters, your mama, your daddy, your, your dog, your lizard. I don't give a sh that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Matter of fact, that lizard could watch us. I don't oh care. You feel me? Your dog could be in the room while I'm, you know what I'm saying? Be oh, no. your you feel me? I don't care. I like your nails. Thank you. No, I don't. You know why? Because I don't give a f all right, this dude never fails to crack me up. The fact he used such a common phrase against her is just pure comedy. Excuse me, how you doing? Hi. I just came over because I'm actually very beautiful. Oh, thank you. Yeah, what's your name? Sabrina. Nice to meet you, Sabrina. Listen to me, I gotta be real honest with you, okay? With all due respect, I just wanna fondle your Damn! You wanna what? You know, I'm a huge advocate for, you know, keeping it honest with girls, you know what I'm saying, not wasting time. Have you ever found yourself saying, oh, you know, I wish guys would just, you know, <laughs> be honest with their intentions. You know what I'm saying, it would cut right. a lot of bull but you're Honest. right, see what I'm saying? So here I am telling you, I feel like I deserve, you know, your number because I'm real enough of a for me to come over here and tell you that I just want to fondle your you know what I'm saying? Why you look stressed out? You you don't like getting fondled? Um, <laughs> I don't think that's my kind of like field. What is your field? Not fondling a my and why? Well, you've never you've never got fondled? It's amazing. Yeah, but not from a stranger. I know each other a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you walked up to me and just said. Like, but that's not. But team. listen to me. Didn't you just say right now you agree with men keeping it honest and being uh, yes, honest course. with their intentions? So here I am being honest with my intentions, and clearly it's not working, right? Damn. Uh, so what you say that you guys are lying? No. Honesty is key, and that's exactly what this guy was showing. That's another reason why body count matters because it's an evo psych reason evolutionary psychology. If a woman has 10 husbands and she's sleeping with all of them, who's the father? You don't know. In the past anyways. Throughout all of human history, now you can take a DNA test and in some countries it's actually in France. It's illegal to get a paternity test in France because apparently, according to the French authorities or it would be too destructive to society because men would realize that they were there was infidelity and that the kid's not theirs. And that's a real fear for men to raise a child that you think is yours. Women can't really relate to this one because if you have a kid, you know with certainty the kid is yours. Well, you, you laugh, but it is a genuine real fear. It's in our gut. If a woman's promiscuous, it's evolutionary psychology. It's repulsive. Whether they believe it or not, body count does matter. And if she isn't going to share it, it's time to move on. Okay. 90% of the time when girls go to the club is to get attention and validation from men. It's not even really for like... Yeah. That's, that's not true. Oh, that's go. not true. Interesting how all the men agree with him, but the women all got defensive about it. I'll be 40 tomorrow. What kind of woman are you looking for, Michael? Somebody that's actually a woman. Not trying to be a man. Not trying to be a boss chick or... Or... A, or be a woman at all times you know you you represent me so their money is, is irrelevant because you that nine times out of ten you ain't gonna make a quarter what i make so when you when you try to when you try to put yourself above me you can't like you're not stronger than me you're not smarter than me you can't outthink me. you can't even survive on your own so for you to be a boss and then you the boss of what i mean you can't be a boss if you just a nail a lash tech or whatever you ain't got no employees what's the age range you want to be? Ooh, i like i like i like young women uh 20 to 30. 20 michael i don't want nobody over 30. most of them they 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 too they too scarred i i didn't try it that too many times i don't need nobody that's that's all beat up with cigarette burns and gunshot wounds i know no michael Hey, that's his preference, and you can't be mad at him for what he wants out of a woman. Yeah, I think with guys, when we see a girl with a lot of options, I think it's the opposite. I think we aren't attracted to that. It's just like, I uh, like that's true. yeah, like if you think about like if you see in the club VIP section, he got mad girls around him. Girls gonna be like, dang, he that. But if it's opposite, a female got a VIP section, and this all. Uh -huh. Like, oh, she ran through. Yeah. So, crazy, so, so, it. so we will look at her like, uh, it could be easy, could be some easy poon, but we would never but we don't look wanna... at her like any wifey type of. Why do a whole bunch of guys want you? That's yeah. what I think. It seems like maybe you homie hopping or something. What's the point in competing with other men for a girl who probably doesn't actually love you? You are what you attract. Relationships are reflective, and you're basically trying to make 
the point that I can get a, I can attract a higher caliber or quality of men, then if that's the case, why are you choosing to entertain bums? I'm not choosing. I'm giving someone a fair shot. Right. So you can qualify to buy a big body Benz, but you're going to buy a fixer up Pinto. But you got money for both. Yeah, that makes sense. I dated both sides of the right. spectrum. Right. And neither worked out. Uh -huh. Right. Uh, sure, ma'am. So the only thing, let's just take your argument. Let's just take your argument. Mm -hmm. The only thing that's common denominator about all of them is you. Nope. This is what it is, people. That's what it is. Attitude, lacking accountability. Just like most, when it gets too hot, they quit, cut, and run. She ran away. He's spitting straight facts, yet she still refuses to listen and only looks at it from her own side. <laughs> but guess what? Since women are so promiscuous nowadays, that still means that they have standards. They're not just going to sleep with anyone. All the power goes to the top tier men. Because now all women have the same set of standards. Over six foot, a height preference, a race preference, and an income preference, a man of status, a charisma preference too. You want your man to be charismatic and make you feel the vibes. Only 20% of the population makes $100,000 a year. Only 15% of the population is six foot or above. So the stats is very low for the guys that you want. So what it does is that when a man works on himself and becomes a valuable man, he has so many options in a dating pool. So why be monogamous? I could sleep with all these girls and just enact in my natural proclivity ways. So all those men, they have all the power in the dating market because guess what? All of you ladies want those men, but that's why most women say that, oh, all men are crap. No, just those that you want, they have options and you ain't the first option. Basically, he's trying to explain how unfair it is for some men in this world, and he's speaking straight facts. Your friends hate your boyfriend. Who cares what your friends think? And secondly, they shouldn't have the audacity to say that to your face. If they do, you obviously don't have a very healthy relationship with them, because none of my friends would say that to my face. Where's the level of respect? If they're saying directly to your face that they hate him, why are you being a doormat? Why don't they respect you? It's her relationship. It's her choice who she's in a relationship with. No one should comment negatively on it ever. It's hers. Nobody else's. A friend isn't there to be your coach. A friend is there to be supportive. As a friend, you need to be supportive, not coach your friends. Don't try to coach your friends. It doesn't work. You're giving negative reassurance to your friend in a pursuit to help them. And all it's going to do is hurt their relationship and damage their life because you think you know better about what they're doing. Everyone is their own person and they should not have to have other people convince them to change their thoughts on other people. The more educated she is, the more difficult she'll be to date. Why would it be more difficult to date an educated woman? That doesn't even make sense. Because she's, 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 she's more knowledgeable. More, yeah. yeah. It sounds like you just a dumb You said because she's more knowledgeable, right? Mm hmm I, Why is that a problem? Most men, they like to take advantage. So the dumber you are, the easier mm -hmm. he is to manipulate you. <laughs> so you no, I mean, exactly. Insane, you're not, insane you're insane. not even saying why her education is making her difficult. You're saying why <laughs> why the man is difficult because she's educated. Because I can't trick her. Because <laughs> I can't trick her. That's that's she's going to challenge you. Yeah, that's and that's right. the and problem. Like, <laughs> why is that a problem? Yeah, why is that a problem? Educated women always belittle men, especially if they feel like their education level is higher than they, they man. That's true. Like, they talking that like they dummies. Mm -hmm. And educated women have a very much <laughs> I don't need you attitude. Because you really don't. Yeah. And you know what a I don't need you attitude does to a relationship? <laughs> Kills it. Someone who is constantly trying to one up you is the worst partner to have. How you doing? Hi. I just came over here because I thought you was beautiful. Thank you. Oh, okay, you're welcome. You know, you think I'm beautiful? Because earlier told me that I look like a pirate. I can see it a little. You can see it a little bit? Am I a beautiful pirate at least? Yeah. Okay, for sure. Now, I gotta warn you before we continue this conversation though. I gotta give you a disclaimer, you know what I'm saying? It's only right. I Stop. No, no, for real. The last girl I was with, you know, when we got in the bed together and this and that, after we was done, she was like, oh, my hurt. And I was like, she'd still be alive right now if you gas me up. What kind of in the past have gotten inside Uh. Michael, funny? Yeah, I like a guy that's funny. You, so you think I'm funny? Thank you very much. So I think I got a high chance of getting <laughs> <laughs> you. Know very what I'm saying? confident. Today. I am very confident. Today, this is every day. 
Yeah. You got an Instagram? I do. All right. Lil Dirt keeps it 100, and that's why his lines work on all the ladies. Mansplaining is something that should be normalized and celebrated. And I'm going to tell you why. When men explain things to other men, we fully explain both the problem and the solution in one go. And if the man on the other side already understands the problem, he will bluntly look you in the eye and go, let's just skip ahead. I already know this. Knowing that the explainer will appreciate the efficiency and urgency to solve the problem. We know that the explainer isn't patronizing or belittling us. He's simply laying out the pieces to solve the logical puzzle. And he's doing it because he cares. But how do women perceive this? Women are feelers. So they feel like they're being talked down to and just take immediate offense. They also famously never wanna hear solutions. They would rather discuss their current feelings than eliminate the problem causing them to feel that way. So men are trying to help women solve problems quickly out of love and care. And rather than being appreciated and thanked for those actions, they're being rewarded with labels of mansplaining and toxic masculinity. A man shouldn't have to use his sweat and tears to get a point across. Listening to your partner is crucial in a happy relationship. This would definitely last longer if this was the case. A lot of these women can't be faithful to y'all, right? And the reason why they can't be faithful to some of you good men out here is because of the way that they was raised. A lot of these women come from bump moms, right? They come from generations of beggars and bum women that couldn't stand on their own and they always had to have a hand out, so they always had to have the in the air. And what I mean is a lot of these women were taught get what you can get mentality. That's what they have. They have this, you better get what you can get out of him. So they don't care what they can get. Rather it's some free weed, rather it's a free dinner, rather it's getting a weave done, rather it's a pair of shoes. So they could never be loyal to you because they're loyal to the gifts. They're loyal to the opportunity. And whenever a bigger and better opportunity presents itself, that's who they're will belong to that's who their time will belong to that's who their affection will belong to and at that point that's who their loyalty will belong to there's a lot of women that run around with this i'm gonna get what i can get i'm gonna take what i can take and so this makes a lot of men expendable because once you can't give anymore you have no use if you are dealing with anybody like this man get away from them because they can't love you for you they only can love you for what you can do for them at that moment but people go through hard times and when you go through hard times they will not be there am i lying the way you are raised plays a big role in your future but there's still ways to change it just takes some courage as a man you have to understand that we're so visual as soon as we see a good looking woman we put her in goddess status she's a goddess damn like that's why i push against don't pedestalize women we treat them like goddesses and they're not goddesses they're not immortal right so it's easy for a beautiful woman to be treated this way why because men were visual as this is how we perceive reality. Like, that's why women, you guys wear makeup, you guys have fix your hair, and yep. it's easier for a woman to fix her hair than fix her stink attitude, right? So when we see a woman, and, and that's why I put, yo, be careful with the way that you perceive a woman because she might be beautiful on the outside. And my grandmother told me this. She might be beautiful on the outside and she's rotting on the inside. Ooh. You can never judge a book by its cover. And that's what he's trying to get at here. Excuse me, excuse me, how you doing? Hi, my name's McQueen. I just came over because I thought you were very beautiful. Very nice to meet I just wanted to let you know that I've escaped the Matrix, and now that I've done so, I'm looking for a woman to spread my seed with, because life without babies is asinine. How do you feel about that? Are you okay? What do you mean am I okay? I think what you're just shocked about is that most are too come up to you and tell you exactly what they want. And me, as a man, because I am competent and capable, I've walked up to you and told you exactly what I want. I want to spread my seed, because you, my friend, have a nice and like I said, I've escaped the matrix. And in doing so, that makes me a very, very competent and capable man. Top G, the tops of all, top is G. Any G that you can think of, I'm on top of that nigga. What is your response to all this? Because I'm doing a lot of talking, so I need you to tell no. me what you, what's on your mind, girl. Maybe you can take me on a date, and then we can talk. And then I can spread my seat with you, and then we can, you know what I'm saying, have powerful babies, and then take over and conquer the world, right? Because this, this whole thing is all about conquest with me, you know? I don't like to play the same game that these little peons be playing. Life is all about conquest with me. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I mean, you said I could take you on a date? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna need your number. Ooh, okay. This turned from pure confusion to her falling head over heels for him. Maybe we all gotta try these movie pickup lines. Why men should give their wives a cheat pass this Christmas. Article written by Rosa Silverman. Now this is definitely not the first type of article I've seen alluding to this for men giving their wives or their girlfriends cheat passes for Christmas. And I've never seen that article written by a man. Let's just reverse the scripts. How would it feel in mainstream media? Would there? Would you ever see an article saying why women should give their husbands a cheat pass this Christmas? No, you wouldn't. We know the mainstream narrative. 
girl power, girls do everything, guys bad. And here's another like Christmas meme. And here's what they're telling women. Wondering how I can get the, my man the perfect Christmas gift when he already has me. <laughs> girls super special, guys big dummies. Guys, let your wives cheat on you and girls don't get your man anything because you're perfect already. Classic. This is really disgusting and disturbing to see. We really have people trying to push this agenda on other couples. Trauma hurts women. Trauma builds men. Trauma makes women more masculine. Trauma Just, makes men, if he overcomes that trauma, think about it. If you, if any of you ladies, no, no, listen. If any of you ladies PTSD go through trauma, be real. listen, 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 listen. Speak this facts right here. No fugazi. If any of you ladies go through trauma, <laughs> in order for you to overcome it, it's gonna make you a little bit more masculine. It's there. You have to be a little bit more worrisome to figure this out. More direct now. A bit more assertive. Maybe a little bit more dominant, so you don't go through those traumas that you went through before, which is a making you more masculine get what I'm saying so men when we go through stuff the masculinity it suits us nice so when we overcome traumas it builds that man it builds the character the more things that a man experienced and he overcame the more and more attractive he is it's facts I think I see where you're going because I do believe that that is my problem in relationships I honestly believe that I've been through so much I believe that I'm more Boys, sometimes going through the worst can bring out the best in us, and that's what keeps us afloat. Dear God, with all due respect, um, the new set of men that you uh, put out here is not your best work. It's not your best work. You be on me all the time about doing my best, and this is not your best. How do I say this? He didn't put out this new batch of loser men that y'all have to deal with. These men came out of your vaginas. The last generation of single mothers made these men. The last generation of single mothers raised these men. And now what do you do? What do you do? You don't learn a thing from the last generation of single mothers. And guess what? You become a single mother also. The next generation of women are going to be mad at you. Because I'm quite sure whoever this woman is, she's a single mother also. And she's raising a child, male or female, by herself. And y'all raise them from kids to adults. That's why they're screwed up, because they were raised by single mothers. Seems like another girl who's salty about her past and has to take it out on God. Maybe look at it from the other guy's perspective as well before ranting on TikTok. Excuse me. Hey, just wanted to come over here and tell you that I got a phone call from your this morning. What? I said I got a phone call from your this morning. My yeah, you know what I'm saying? She called me and she said that she took my soul. She snatched my soul. Where you going? I need to reclaim my soul, you know what I'm saying? She said she called me. She said, hey, I got your soul. I said, you got my soul? Who the f she said, yeah, you know who took that sh You come get it back in blood. Brr. So I'm here to reclaim my, my sh How are we going to do this? You trying to say I'm on my period? What? No. no. I'm not trying to say I'm saying anything. All I'm saying is that I need to reclaim my soul because you stole it from me. What do you mean? So what is your calling me for at, at 6 in the morning? Where are you walking to, man? I'm going to Ross. You're going to Ross, so you're not going to sit here and talk to me? No. Oh, you a bougie little light-skinned girl, huh? No, I'm not. What's your name? What's your name? Dez. Dez? I thought you are beautiful. I'm just yeah, I like the thunderbolt on your eyes, man. Yeah, they, they call me star. You mind if I get your own number? Sure. Oh, you said sure. Wow. Sure. That was pretty quick for someone who was just in a rush. She was just, you know, yeah, you look like you was just a track star a couple seconds ago. Why is it that these absurdly out-of-hand rap lyrics work better than simply talking to a girl? You said yes, that sir. it is fair in the scenario for a woman to judge a man based on his income and yes. financial capability. The equivalent to that, like you admitted when you said that it's not number one for a man, what could be number one maybe his her past etc so since we know that for a man the most important thing to him is replication value i.e body count physicality age things like that whereas the most important thing for a woman is survival value a man's ability to protect provide and provision so the same way a woman can judge a man based on his earning potential his competency ability to lead etc cool well then we can judge y'all on your body count on your age on your weight on your beauty guess what that's the equal exchange here that's the reciprocal value here. So, an old woman or a woman with a high body count or a woman that's fat and out of shape is equivalent to a man that doesn't have that's a job, broke. that's broke, and on his ass. Am I wrong? No. Wow, even the girl agreed to this guy's point. So you're basically saying that it's worthless. It's like if you just want that's not doing nothing but just give you good to be here. But if you want something that can teach into your goals, that, that buys into your dreams, that talk life into you, that, that motivates you to then, yeah, you can lay with me every now I'll make your dreams come to reality, but if you just what? trying to get access to, you what? just want what's in me, I have more access other than what's in between my legs. 
But what if you haven't shown me that? That's that, 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 you the one I want to get to my right away. You don't want to work for it. So you're meaning to tell me that it's on me of the fact of the matter is that if I've chilled with you for about a week or two and all you've shown me is that you can shake, suck, pop, that's, that's my fault? No, that's your fault no, because you haven't had it all talk on the face. You will not blame men for women being If I've been chilling with your goddamn three, four weeks and all you've shown me is you can be a that stunt double and all I want from you is some because that's all you have to offer. That is not my fault. These women are trying to tell us because of the fact that you have not shown me your for your value. You have not shown me your intelligence. You haven't shown me your virtue. All you've shown me is that you can goddamn swallow a goddamn bottle halfway down without goddamn emptying the content. And you want me to build a goddamn life with you? You're going to have a life back at the apartments with the road. It is not my fault your goddamn is a Start Seems like someone's more interested in what's in the dude's pants than actual love. If we want the things that we want as far as men being providers, we do have to take a backseat. But that doesn't mean that I can't want the best for myself. You can want the example. best for yourself and want the best for your kids and not try to get a PhD in psychology. You can do both. Why are you making it just like an either or thing? If getting a PhD makes you happy, get your PhD in psychology or whatever you get it in. Do not take the step further and expect that a man will give it the credit that you want him to give it. Get it for you and your kids if you want. Don't come over here and tell me how I need to value it. Just like he said, why not do both? Life is too short not to go out and become the best version of yourself. I told someone the other day, if you want a friend, get a dog. Faithful. Women need to study dogs. When one guy said to me, women are such dogs, I'm like, no, they're not. Dogs are faithful. Women are cats. Aloof, come around when they want something, act with no rhyme or reason, snuggle up to you, are warm, act like they love you, they enjoy the treats, and then they go sleep somewhere else. Gentlemen, the chink in your armor, your Achilles heel, was sharing your feelings with her. Cry in front of her once, and she'll be banging her boss by the end of next week. You got feelings? Share them with a brother. Share them with a friend. Share them with me. Critics of this particular way of thinking will say, well, you're walking on eggshells. You're teaching men to walk on eggshells and not to be vulnerable. How'd that vulnerability work out for most of you? Low-key, this dude is making a valid point here. Maybe not for all women, but a lot of them seem to show more cat-like characteristics. The money, Tony. If I met you and you're like where you are right now, and I fell in love and that we're good, that's where we are. But then a couple years pass and you gained 300 pounds and you're deciding to stay in that space, <laughs> I can't tell you that I'm going to continue to be attracted to you for several years to come. Like, what do you do with that if you decided to choose to stay in that space? Oh, and it might sound real shallow of me, but I'm just being honest. So sometimes, because we all, y'all all want protectors and providers, you know, when you when you are doing it at a high level, is it the right thing not to go to the gym? No, I'm not saying that. But it may lack some. Right. But understand that we're providing and working hard to take care of y'all. I'm working hard and not going to the gym, and I have to eat at Waffle House because by the time I get off work at four o'clock in the morning, ain't nothing else open while I'm protecting and providing for you. I think it's quite f for you to leave me when I'm putting myself in goddamn obesity to try to take care of your beautiful ass. you got a goddamn problem, excuse me, that's my turn to talk. And if you got a goddamn problem with it, you can go back to the apartments, I'm gonna get sleeve surgery, and you're gonna want to wish you had an Two years later, after I lose all this weight, but guess what? I'm going to be up a couple of M's. The DJ has spoken. Why would you want to leave someone who's providing for you just because they gain weight? Okay, so if you're going to cheat, she's not going to come home at 4 o'clock in the morning. Oh, I was out with the homies. None of that. She's going to come on at a regular time. She's going to cook your dinner. Your clothes are gonna, Everything that was supposed to be done is going to be done. So, yeah, she's pretty spot on with that. The reason that men get caught is because, you know, we break our patterns. And I look at it like this. You and your girl are walking this road together, holding hands. This is your relationship and you're just walking forward, walking forward to the future. There are at all times in this woman's life, because this is pretty much all women's life, there are going to be men that are extending their hand constantly as she walks this road with you. Now, she, if you have a good woman, has to ignore all these hands, but don't get it twisted. They are always extended. So she has to focus on you and focus on the path ahead. And you got yourself a good But if she's going to cheat, how convenient is that? All she has to do is grab that extended hand, hop off the road for a second, she'll hop right, right back on it, and you'll be like, oh, okay. Like, she didn't break much patterns. Like, it wouldn't really set off too much, you know, alarms. 
But when we do it, it's more like we went off into the woods and she's like, where were you? We're supposed to be on this road together. This just makes me worry even more. Looks like she's getting smart with the cheating tactics. Were you raised with your mom and father? <sighs> okay. I was hoping this question wasn't asked. Um, mostly my mom, but as far as father figure, there were so many, and I'm not trying to put my mom out there. So, mom, if you see this podcast, I am so sorry, and I do love you. Hey, she, she, she loves you. She loves you, mom. It was uh, just so many. Even though you was in the streets. No, she wasn't. She wasn't. My mom's dad wasn't in her life, and my dad wasn't in mine. And um, so. You find, yeah, get her a tissue. Get her, get her a tissue. Moms turn their daughters into women, and they turn their sons into adults. Fathers turn their daughters into ladies, and fathers turn their sons into men. The reason why is because fathers instill chastity into his daughters, which then makes her a lady. The reason why is because fathers instill discipline and decisiveness and integrity into his son, which turns him into a man. It's important to have a father figure in your life for many different reasons. And, 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 and the thing is, listen to what I'm about to say. Listen to what I'm about to say, because it may sound harsh this way, but listen to what I'm about to say. You got a daughter? I do. You got a son? Yes. Now imagine you, the son you raised, you love. Mm -hmm. You groom him to be a high value, productive, competitive, successful man. Mm -hmm. Right. Would you want him getting with a woman that treats him like you treat men? I don't know. <laughs> the defensive laugh always tells the truth. See, these ladies have no problem messing with somebody else's sons. But say to do it to their boy, then they will want to kill you. French toast out of here. Did she forget the golden rule, treat others the way you want to be treated? This is just so selfish of her. And wanting princess treatment. I can't. So this whole idea, the princess treatment thing, is actually a shaming tactic, and it's really women exposing themselves for not having any empathy and letting everyone know, I'm not going to treat these men very well. So that's what that means. The idea that you can say that, okay, this man is looking for princess treatment. Okay, so he's looking for, you know, the treatment that a woman is supposed to get. Oftentimes that treatment isn't for you. The idea that a woman can claim certain, you know, behaviors and act like that's only supposed to be for them is really ridiculous because those are things that all human beings are searching for, especially in relationships, like verbal confirmation that you're interested in me, maybe a compliment here and there, a nice gesture. So to act like that's only for women and men don't deserve any of that really lets you know how a woman is gonna view her mates in the future. It's not a flex. The idea that a man is supposed to chase you, no. It, it, it's, it's, the idea is two people standing in a room facing each other and they're not going anywhere and they're learning things about each other. You know, and this woman gets the confirmation, oh, he likes me. And then she says it back and then their feelings are growing and then they're falling deeper in love. But what these women want for the most part is like, you're supposed to chase me. Okay, well, it turns out a lot of women don't even respect men that chase them like that because all the men are fucking them. And sometimes they're hyper-focused on a man that don't want shit with them and their ego is really in play right now. And it's actually going to be used against them. But that's a different story. Now, so it seems like what they want is like, I'm going to walk all throughout this house, just follow me. Men know that. Men know that that's what you're looking for and they don't want to do it. They're like, okay, cool. I, I'm, you seem like a great person. I'm interested. I'm right here if you want it. And women go, oh, a man that values himself? I don't like that. He's acting like a woman. A wise man once said, if you have to chase someone, then they're probably not for you. You guys have made it to the end. Like and subscribe to prove you're an alpha. And remember, according to YouTube, the best way to help the channel and the algorithm is to watch another one of my videos right after this video. So if you like this video, you should watch another one. Till next time.